Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Joanne, and this is To Crochet Curious. I managed to run out of time on my last video, but <laughs> I'll be faster on this one. Hey, one of the things that I made the other day, and then I managed somehow to delete the video, is I got my Mary Maxim uh, Crochet of the Month. Thank you. Ah, tea break. I got my Mary Maxim Crochet of the Month kit, and I showed it, and then I managed to screw up the video, so I never got to post it. So, um, let me tell you two things that happened. One, Mary Maxim sent a correction to one of the patterns in the book from December, so I thought that was really nice. I was confused at first, like, what is this? Uh, but I figured it out. Yeah, okay. And then I got my kit, and it is cute. And I am in love with project bags. You might have seen that on another video. So this is going to be fun to make. It is made with um, Grundle Pretty Yarn. And yes, it's pretty. So I'll give you some stats on the yarn here after you see the beautiful colors. There's two of these, and then one blue, one red, and one sort of spicy color. Um, okay, like cinnamon, paprika, you know, that kind of color. Um, this one, gray, color six, this is... Oh yeah, I remember this. This is in German. Uh, let's see. The color is number six. The stats are here somewhere. 100% acrylic. 166 meters, 100 grams. Uh, washable. Mm, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, use a five to six millimeter hook or needles. UK, I guess. All right, so I got these beautiful colors and I'm gonna make myself a bag out of that. That'll be coming up at some point. Um, okay, so since we're talking uh, yarn and yarny stuff, I am making a gift for uh, my, my sister. <laughs> and if she's watching this, well, she'll be, she'll know what I'm making. <laughs> um, I started making her a scarf, and I'm using the Glimmer from uh, Mary Maxim. I got in a mystery bag. Can you tell I like Mary Maxim? I do. I really do. The Glimmer is really pretty. It's got a purple um, shimmer to it. You know, the sparkle is, is purple. And I was going to do the zipper, zipper, the puff zipper um, by Bag o Day. But as I'm trying to work it up with this yarn, I really wasn't happy with the way it was turning out. So I changed to another stitch. And as I'm doing the other stitch, I'm thinking, gosh, this is just going to be like too firm, you know, no, no flow to it. I like, you know, it's a personal preference, but I like scarves that have some kind of potential body to it, um, drape to it, you know. And so now I'm doing this, which is like just a kind of a mesh. <laughs> and then I'm going to make her a ponytail uh, hat to match um, out of the same yarn um, and hopefully get it to her before it warms up too much in Minnesota. So, hey, I really appreciate you watching and I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, leave me comments if you have suggestions on a good weight to use for the puff zipper kind of a stitch where it comes out kind of thick. It's kind of like the C2Cs, you know, where you, it just has a firmness to it, a thickness to it. 
and I'm probably just not experienced enough to know uh, maybe I should have used a bigger hook on this or maybe I should have used a lighter weight yarn I don't know but I wasn't happy with you know I, I thought it would be more blankety and less scarfy so <laughs> so that's where that's at um, maybe I'll try it I have some very nice yarns uh, in smaller size weights so maybe I'll try something else so anyway um, leave your comments below uh, as I was saying in my last video I am wearing paparazzi jewelry today this is all rose gold the ring the necklace the earrings um, my daughter sells it and I'll leave her information in the link uh, in the description box uh, if you are so inclined to buy some five dollar jewelry it would be a blessing to her. She's a middle school teacher. And um, a little extra income helps. So, thank you. Have a wonderful day.